the FV-432, a variant of the British Army's FV-430 series of armoured fighting vehicles, has been a prominent armoured personnel carrier at PC since 1960, primarily utilised for transporting infantry on the battlefield. Despite initial plans to replace it with newer vehicles, such as the Warrior, around 500 FV-432s underwent upgrades, enabling them to remain in service and extend their operational lifespan into the 2020s, ensuring their continued contribution to the British Army's infantry transport capabilities. The FV-432, a versatile armoured personnel carrier variant within the FV-430 series of British Army's armoured fighting vehicles, boasts a sturdy construction with a mass of around 15 tonnes. Measuring approximately 5.25 metres in length, 2.55 metres in width, and 2.28 metres in height, this compact yet robust vehicle provides an optimal blend of mobility and protection. It features a crew capacity of two, tasked with operating the vehicle, while also offering ample room to accommodate up to 10 troops. With its reliable design and capacity to transport infantry on the battlefield, the FV-432 proves to be a steadfast asset for military operations. The FV-432 is equipped with a Rolls-Royce K60 multi-fuel engine, delivering 240 horsepower. With a power-to-weight ratio of 15.7 horsepower per tonne, the vehicle demonstrates commendable mobility. Its torsion bar suspension system, coupled with five road wheels, ensures smooth manoeuvrability over various terrains. The FV-432 boasts an operational range of 580 km, which is equal to 360 miles and achieves a maximum speed of 52 km per hour, which is equal to 32 miles per hour. To enhance its amphibious capabilities, wading screens and a trim vane are standard features, along with an extended exhaust pipe for elevated water operation. The vehicle can be quickly prepared for wading in approximately 5 minutes and can reach a water speed of around 6 km per hour when converted for swimming, propelled by its tracks. While some FV-432s have had their amphibious capability removed, the majority retain this versatile feature. The FV-432 is constructed entirely of steel and features a conventional tracked chassis design. The engine is located at the front of the vehicle, with the driving position positioned to the right. Directly behind the driver's position, there is a hatch for the vehicle commander. The passenger compartment roof is equipped with a large round opening, which is covered by a split folding hatch. Additionally, a right-hand side hinge door is present at the rear for efficient loading and unloading operations. Unlike some other vehicles of its time, the FV-432 does not include firing ports for the troops carried. According to British Army doctrine, troops were expected to dismount from the vehicle to engage in combat. Inside the passenger compartment, there are five seats on each side, which can be folded up to create a flat cargo space when needed. The FV-432 is equipped with a nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons system. The vehicle's ventilation system includes a fan located in the forward right-hand side, which provides normal airflow. The air is drawn through an external paper element filter situated on the right-hand side of the hull. The filtered air is then distributed throughout the interior via a duct running around the perimeter of the roof level, extending into the driver's compartment. The system is designed to accommodate the addition of carbon filters in the event of a gas attack. To maintain a constant minimal pressure and prevent the entry of foreign matter during blast events or changes in external atmospheric pressure, a roof-mounted relief valve is installed. This comprehensive NBC system enhances the vehicle's ability to operate in various hazardous environments. The FV-432 is equipped with Stanag Level 3 armour providing protection against 7.62mm armour-piercing rounds. This level of armour ensures a considerable degree of ballistic resistance, enhancing the survivability of the vehicle and its occupants on the battlefield. The all-around protection signifies that the armour is effectively distributed across the vehicle, offering a high level of defence from various angles of attack. As an armoured personnel carrier, 
The FV-432 is typically armed with a Pintle-mounted L7 general purpose machine gun unless it is fitted with a peak engineering turret. This provides the vehicle with a reliable and versatile weapon for defensive purposes. When equipped with the L7 general purpose machine gun, the FV-432 carries a significant ammunition load of 1600 rounds of belted 7.62mm ammunition, enabling sustained firepower during engagements. Additionally, the vehicle features two three-barrel smoke dischargers located at the front, allowing for the deployment of smoke screens for defensive purposes or obscuring the vehicle's position on the battlefield. The FV-432 has demonstrated its versatility by being utilised in various roles beyond its primary function as an armoured personnel carrier. It has served as a command vehicle, accommodating seven crew members, equipped with two mabords, and featuring additional communications equipment. In this configuration, an additional canvas, penthouse, may be added to provide extra space. The FV-432 has also been adapted as an ambulance, capable of carrying up to four stretchers or a combination of two stretchers and five seated patients. In this role, it does not carry any armament apart from the smoke dischargers. Furthermore, the FV-432 can function as a cargo carrier, with a capacity of up to 3,600 of cargo. Lastly, it has been deployed as a communications vehicle, facilitating communication operations on the battlefield. These diverse applications highlight the flexibility and adaptability of the FV-432 to meet various operational requirements. The FV-432 was specifically designed to serve as the armoured personnel carrier within the FV-430 series, and its production spanned from 1962 to 1971 under the manufacturing of GKN Sankey. During this time, approximately 3,000 vehicles were constructed. However, the Australian Army conducted evaluations of two pre-production FV-432s between 1962 and 1963, but ultimately opted to purchase American M113 armoured personnel carriers instead. The trials conducted in Queensland demonstrated that the performance of the M113 surpassed that of the FV-432. As a result, the Australian Army chose the M113 as their preferred choice. Following their withdrawal from British service, a number of surplus FV-432 vehicles were sold to the Indian Army cheaply. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.